Oh my goodness guys, I feel like it's been forever. Welcome back to a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel. My, I, it feels even weird saying the words because like I'm not used to like recording videos at all. As uh, something that I want to get into because I prefer YouTube, you know? YouTube's so fun, like you guys are so nice in here. And I really enjoy just like yapping to the camera and then, oh my goodness, someone listens to me because I don't really like have anyone to talk to. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna um, deadlift today, that's what I've got. I'm not super confident that it's gonna be like an amazing day and I'm not gonna hit any PRs because I haven't deadlifted in a long time. Um, I took a good time off of deadlifts um, and I'm kind of still getting back into it. Obviously, I haven't recorded a YouTube video in a long time, but in that whole time, literally, I haven't done any compound movements, like heavy or strength training, and I've really missed it. I almost feel like I've lost like a sense of myself because it's like what I really enjoy doing and I've just not been doing it. And and that's upset me so um yeah i've started benching heavy again i'm still not squatting because fuck squats sorry i don't want to squat i'm not doing all that i literally hate squats so much but i've missed deadlifting um so i'm just trying to get back into it let's let's start warming up and then we'll see like where the day takes us My gym doesn't have bumper plates, so I basically just warm up with the bar, like an RDL, um, and then I put 40 kilos on, so I literally 10 aside, and then do the same thing. And then I move down to the platform, and I start with 60 kilos. Also, I think my head's cut off. Okay, okay whatever. I'm gonna crack on with warming up. <laughs> I just had the biggest struggle in the world trying to get that plate on. Um, there's not many people in here to be fair, so it wasn't like crazy embarrassing. There's literally like two people in here. I thought there were three, but the other guy's gone. I love the leg room in my gym because like it's a whole separate thing to the rest of the gym. Um, but like if it's busy, it's fucked in here. Like I hate it when it's busy in here. It's like the room you want to avoid when it's busy. But <sighs> but when it's empty, it's literally like it's like heaven. Like, I love being in here. Like, if there's only, like, one other person, like, you just don't need to care about them because, like, you're just both doing your own thing. And I've been in here, like, completely alone before, and it's honestly just blitz, like, so nice. Okay, I, uh, I need to go find a clip because I can't find the, the other clip. I just went all the way across the gym to get some, some white stuff. Uh, rub them between your hands and it should dry up nice and crispy. Haha, <laughs> 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 funny, funny jokes. Um, it's actually just liquid chalk. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I've got 60 kilos now on the bar and I'm just gonna bust it out for like a couple of reps. Like, I just sort of see how I feel. Like, if I'm feeling a little bit more on the fatigued side, then I won't go crazy with it, like with warm-ups, because I want to like save my energy, but I also want to be sufficiently warmed up. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Also, by the way, I'm off the back of being really ill. I had like, I'm pretty sure I might have had the C word, because my lungs hurt. Like, I've been struggling to catch my breath ever since I had it. And then I went out to drink a couple of nights as well um, after that, and then yeah, I'm just trying to recover. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm not sick right now, but my lungs are a bit like, <sighs> you know? Anyways, I want to do this warm up. Um, honestly, that's like the best 60 kilos has felt, like, in my warm ups since I started deadlifting again. Um, I also had this like interesting idea that maybe I should try sumo because I used to pull sumo like for the first like year and a half of me lifting and then I switched to conventional. Um, <coughs> uh, and then I never went back because I didn't really enjoy it but I'm not used to like loads of volume and stress on my lower back so maybe I should do sumo for a bit and then pull conventional. I'm just going to try a few reps and see how it goes like literally right now. 
I've just had a thought. So I'm gonna try it. And if it feels like shit, then I won't do it. I probably feel, will feel like shit though, because my hips aren't used to that. Like my hips aren't used to being that like externally rotated and I haven't done any mobility for my hips whatsoever. So I'm just gonna try a few reps. Do you know what, that doesn't actually feel that bad at all. Like, it really doesn't feel bad. But, I will say that, I don't know, I literally felt like my hamstring was gonna rip off of the bone because I'm not used to that whatsoever. Also, I'm sweating, but I don't like what I'm wearing underneath. <sighs> I like that this t-shirt isn't cropped, but at the same time, like, I don't really know how to wear it. Because it's sort of, I've got shorts underneath. So it's all just gonna sit. Anyways, it needs to be like this though because I'm literally sweating my tits off. Guys, I honestly don't know whether to go back to pulling sumo or whether I should just stick with conventional. I'm gonna watch the clip back and then I'm actually gonna decide. Oh, I don't know. Oh. There is a chance that sumo is actually the way, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna stick to conventional just because that's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. And I don't wanna just like out of nowhere switch the movement again because I've just kind of gotten used to this. So I'm gonna continue with conventional and I'll decide by the end of the session. I'm not doing anything crazy today anyways. I wish though, I literally miss just going crazy all the time, but I can't because otherwise I'm gonna snap my shit up. I don't wanna snap my shit. I, by the way, I forgot my tripod. That's literally why you're so low and like why I keep on adjusting the camera. 80 kilos is where I put my belt on when I pulled conventional uh, it, because I'm weaker conventional than I am sumo. Like that's pretty normal, I think, for most people. Um, so with sumo, it was 100 kilos. 100 kilos was the mark where I put my belt on. With conventional, it's 80 kilos. Also, I need a wee and I need to blow my nose. So don't be surprised if I piss myself and or snot rocket during the set. That felt good. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a piss. And blow my nose, and then I'll come back for 100 kilos, which will be one rep. And that'll be my last warm up. This has to move really well, otherwise I'm a loser, and the next set's gonna be loserish, and I don't want that to happen, so this needs to be good. So I'm gonna shut up, so instead of yapping, I can just like focus on what I'm doing, listen to music. explosive of the floor because I'm like I'm like pulling the slack and then I'm just sort of slowly pulling instead of just like being explosive to the movement which I always have been and that's always worked in my favour so I guess I just need to fucking sort my shit out and be like more explosive. I'm doing one rep max today but I didn't even tell you guys. What the fuck is wrong with me? Actually no I literally said a lie I'm doing a double. Sorry, doing doing a double. And I'm gonna do the double at 120 because I hit it for a few singles. So, and it's been like a little while, so. 120. was so fucking grounded on that second one. I was just like, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. I should not have done that. I'm watching it back on my phone right now. Okay, hold on. First rep, not bad. It was really heavy though, like it felt heavy. And then second rep, I was not even that bad. Literally, I, <laughs> I genuinely felt, yeah, that my back was like, no joke, like this. Like, that's the position I thought my back was in. 
it's not even that bad. I think I'm just not used to like, I'm not used to like my back rounding a little bit like that on the deadlift. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have sore erectus tomorrow, like no doubt about it. That's fine. My core kind of hurts, like my ribs, like where I'm not used to bracing against the belt. And I did some pull-ups yesterday as well, which um, uh, like like chin-ups. And I always find that my abs get really sore after chin-ups, I don't know why. I mean, I guess like I'm using my core to like stabilize myself. I'm not used to that, but fuck. It's quite nice to see myself like deadlift like that amount of weight again. Because I feel like it's, it's literally been so long, like, I did last deadlift session I felt because I was still like ill. I literally felt so messed up. Um, I did a hundred for three and I could have done more, but the session before that I had a set of five and I did five, sorry, a hundred for five. So I should have done like 110 for three or something like that. Um, but yeah, no, I ended up doing a hundred for three and it felt like shit. It literally felt like I was going to break my back. No, I'm actually, do you know what guys? I'm actually dead chuffed with that. Like it moved slow and it felt like a bit off, but amazing. All right, let's move on to my back offsets because um, otherwise I'm gonna spend, I've spent so much time warming up and like get into my top set. I need to like crack on. Um, I'm gonna do, I think 80 or 90 kilos for sets of four. Probably, probably 80, like realistically, they don't need to be heavier, just, just getting some practice in, some volume. Oh, I'm not doing all that. Hold on. Where's the jack? Jack. This is literally the handiest fucking tool in the gym. Like, even if your gym doesn't have one, just buy it yourself and bring it in. Or use a plate. I mean, that's probably more cost effective. I'm so excited to feel like nervous to lift again. Like it's been so long since I've had that like jittery, heart elevated heart rate um, because of like anxiety and nerves before a lift. Like because I haven't gone for any PRs in months. So I'm actually something I'm super excited for is just like that feeling of like before I go for a lift, I'm like shaky and like nervous. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this, and I can't have any thoughts of doubt. But there's like a bit of nervousness there. It's been so long since I felt that. And that's what I was saying at the beginning, like that's what I really miss, because that's why I fell in love with lifting in the first place. <laughs> that's what started me, like going to the gym and stuff. And then I guess I was just focused on like other things, like I guess like you could say like aesthetics, like I wanted to look better. But ultimately like I don't think that's a bad thing. I just want to focus on some like body parts and get a bit leaner. But ultimately like it didn't make me as happy as lifting. Like lifting heavy and getting stronger, like this truly is like what makes me so happy. Guys, I'm all alone in here now. Like, I feel like when you're alone in a room like this, in a public place, like, uh, for example, oh, there is someone in here. No, that's a reflection in the window. Huh? Oh, that's a reflection, yeah. Um, no, I feel like when you're in a, like, a public place and like alone in a room like this, you're like, oh my goodness, I want to take advantage of this, but like, what the fuck would I do? Like, attempt to do a cartwheel? Like, I can't even do a cartwheel. I guess it's like kind of cool when, like obviously if I'm recording a video, then it's nice to have the room on my own. Like I don't have to worry about other people, but there's always people here. So I kind of always like have to feel like, I'm like, oh, I don't care that much. But it is really nice. I can just like casually talk and no one's going to be like glancing over. Like it's fine if people glance, like it's normal to be curious. And like, I think a lot of people in my gym uh, think like, why the fuck is she talking to herself? Like I just don't really talk to anyone else. Like if I sp if it was like a chatty person and then I was just sat there talking to myself, like maybe people wouldn't think anything of it. But I just sort of like walk into the gym and then I'm, yeah, I don't know. Like I don't talk to many people and then <laughs> I just like yapping to myself like like someone might see me talking standing here literally talking to myself but then they don't see the camera you know like the camera's actually kind of like hidden right now so like you might not see it what am I talking literally what am I talking about <sighs> I just like the fact that it's empty in here you know? it makes me makes me feel free all right all right anyways like I'm gonna I'm gonna do do a set Okay, 
it. The purpose of back offsets is honestly just like get some practice in. Obviously over time like you want to progress on those movements, but like I hit a top set and that's like, yeah, it matters because that's where I'm going to hit my big numbers and that's where I'm going to like hit my heavy big numbers, right? My PRs and everything. But it's really important like with your back off sets, right? It's so important to like not do any ego lifting and basically just like keep the RPE like pretty low. So you've still got quite a few reps left in the tank, but you can just really practice the movement. And that comes with like, that goes for like, not like accessory movements, but like bench, squat bench and deadlift, yeah? You wanna like practice that movement because ultimately it's really important that you've got the technique down. So then when you go to pull a heavy weight, if your technique doesn't break down, your only limiting factor is strength. Oh my fucking God, I've just torn a callus. Oh, it's not that bad, like it's not bleeding, but I've never torn skin on my hand before. Okay, I'm gonna do two more sets of my deadlifts and then I'm gonna crack on with the rest of my exercises. Um, and I'll see you then because I've not got too much to say about this. Um, and I just need to get them done because I literally, if I get talking, I obviously can't stop, can I? I just love talking to you guys, you know? Anyways, I'll see you when I'm doing lap pull downs. This is the consequence to me forgetting my tripod. We were like all the way down on the floor, it's so strange. I'm moving on to the lap pull downs. Um, I always switch between the straight bar and the mag grip. At the moment, I'm gonna. I used the straight bar for a few sessions, but it just it, I didn't feel too great, so I'm going straight back to the mag grip. Uh, plus, like I don't want to use straps at the moment for things because I want to get my grip back to like where it was, so that it's not a limiting factor in my deadlift. Um, my heavy deadlift sessions are like actually really simple. I've always done it like this because deadlifts take so much out of me. I then just move on to lat pull down, and I do like four to five sets, and then I just do bicep curls. Like I finish it off with some bicep curls just for some fun. And that's it, like I keep it really simple because if I give myself too many exercises to do on a heavy deadlift day, I'll never complete them. And then I just feel guilty for like not doing them and then it's not fun. So <clears throat> on my second pull day, it's a little bit different. Um, I do lighter deadlifts and then um, I focus the rest of the session on like actually like hypertrophy for my back. But yeah, I'm just doing a couple of warm up sets. Um, oh, actually, no, that feels kind of heavy. Hold on. Okay, that's gonna be my working weight. I'm gonna, also uh, reps, I try to go like up to 15 and then like if I get like 16 or 17, that's fine. Um, but yeah, no less than 10. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna get less than 10 because I just then like, what's the point? Oh shit, my music. Whenever I've like shared my like heavy deadlift session on um, on the internet, people always say like, "Oh, you're missing a row from like the deadlift." Day. But like I said before, like I just do that on my other pull day. And like to be honest with you, like you'd be surprised like how much of your back is like actually engaged in a deadlift. Like I I haven't done deadlifts in a while, right? I just finished my set and my lats are literally smoked. Like, you should be using your lats to like keep like, close to you. <clears throat> and even though you're not like stretching. Uh, like lengthening and shortening a lot, like it's still being used. That's why people with massive deadlifts have massive backs, okay? It's like, it's backs. Like, people always say it's not a back movement, but it really is. And it will build your erectors as well, so your back will look like thick and juicy as opposed to just a couple of lats. Um, and that's why, like, I just leave out the row for my deadlift session. And plus, I hate rows as well. Like, I actually really don't like doing rows. And if I don't like doing a movement, like, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna have fun. Um, but if I just save it for like my other day, then I have loads of fun. And then if I'm not deadlifting, like if I'm not in, like if I'm not going through a stage of my training where I'm deadlifting, I just do rows and I focus on rows. So I'm still like building my back, like whatever the case, maybe. So yeah, that's why I focus on like a horizontal pull. Um, sorry, a vertical pull um, on my deadlift days. Oh, hey, 
guys. Also, sorry, my bag literally looks humongous. Like, I've never sat on my camera like this, like on the chair. Oh shit, it's focusing in the wrong place. And like my bag. I can never get like a back lat spread to look good because like I feel like, firstly my, my lats are like really wonky because I've always done like a mixed grip deadlift and I've like developed like these crazy imbalances, yeah. <coughs> and then also like lighting, like never looks good. My, like a back lat spread. Anyways, I'm moving on to bicep curls now. Um, the movement I like the most when it comes to bicep curls um, are alternating. Alternating dumbbell bicep curls. It's literally the funnest one. Like standing there, like I hate preacher curls. I hate like incline curls, spider curls. Like they're all a bunch of shit, in my opinion. I just don't like them. So I do some like heavy alternating bicep curls and then just to finish it off, um, I just blast my biceps with like an easy bar and I just go for it. So I'm gonna go get some dumbbells. I'm gonna crack on. Yeah, with these like alternating bicep curls, I don't just like pick a light weight like I do with a lot of my exercises and then just really contract the muscle. No, I literally ego lift these ones to the max, like no joke. I start off in like a hammer curl position and then I twist it around and then I just basically swing it up. Um, and that's sort of like, I don't know, that's like the way I just enjoy doing bicep curls wherever I hate bicep curls otherwise. Um, so I do that and then like <clears throat> if like it's too, if my delt is like too involved or it's too like hammer curly then um, I just lower the weight and I go to like 8 kilo dumbbells instead. So. I'm feeling like, so like swole and jacked today. I've upped my calorie intake quite a bit recently. And um, cause I like went on a car and then I didn't want to get too lean cause like my training started to feel like shit. Even though like one day I would like to be shredded and like have abs. Um, but I just love like my training feeling good like too much. And also there's like no need for me to be lean cause it's like not very optimal for building muscle. And I can't, I just want to get like as big as I, I can get like in these like early years of my life, early 20s. <laughs> So, I've never been like super lean, but I definitely like, I just want to get a bit bigger. But anyways, I up my calorie intake because, um, yeah, I just wanted to like, feel a bit better going into like, strength training again, you know. And I wanted to just have a good amount of like, calories to recover. Um, and I'm like, I find that when I restrict, like my food like significantly then I just end up craving shit and then I just like end up eat. like I'll just give in to my craving sometimes and then I just end up eating normally anyways so I always find that like if I don't restrict myself I end up at like a body weight that I'm happy with but then I'm not craving anything and then I don't ultimately eat like shit because so, I, I forgot my tripod I can't find anywhere to put the camera that's like good and easy literally pissing me off because I just will crack on with my sets but I also want to record them. I have no idea, literally have no idea where to put my camera and if I found somewhere but I, I don't know, like I feel like I'm firstly in people's way and secondly, um, sorry, I literally don't want my camera to break because if my camera breaks, I'm screwed. Oh, I don't want to buy a new one. Oh god. Okay, I found a place. Honestly guys, four sets of curls in, my biceps are smoked. So I'm gonna leave out like the little easy curl bar blasting session. Um, Cause after doing the lap pull downs and everything and then like the deadlifts. Anyways, that's my really simple deadlift day. Heavy deadlifts, funnest, funnest session I reckon of my week. I literally love it so much, um, especially when I'm hitting PRs. So stay tuned, stick around if you wanna see me hit PRs. If you wanna see me deadlift 160, I reckon hit a like and a subscribe. And, oh my god, Dave's so goofy. See you guys later.